Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And today, look at this, Christmas came early. So many envelopes. Crazy. Um, I kind of have an idea what's in here, but not fully. Um, so I've got a bigger envelope, a smaller envelope, and some other sizes here as well. I think, I think I'm going to start with this one. This one sent to me by the Plague Doctor. And Plague Doctor, he's a magic friend of mine. Uh, he's a patron of the channel as well. And he just loves to send me stuff and I love receiving stuff. And I've already decided, Plague Doctor, I'm going to send something back this time. I don't know what yet. Um, the cool thing about this dude is um, he loves the community. You know, for him, magic, like for me as well, is so much more than just winning a game or losing a game or building a deck. It's, uh, it's, it's really, you know, that whole old school vibe. Um, and yeah, let's just open it up. I think he sent me a card that I can use for the upcoming Ice Age tournament. We were sitting on the Discord and we were kind of chatting about cards and we kind of do that more often. We just send, uh, send each other like miscellaneous cards. Um, here it is. And uh, yeah, we kind of send each other cards that we can use just to play with or fool around with. And so this came all the way from the States. Uh, we've got a flying Rook Egg token added to it as well. Thank you, my friend. And here is the card that I actually need for my mono white deck for Ice Age. Maybe I'm going to play white blue or white black. I don't know. Order of the White Shield. Two white protection from black. It's basically the Pump Knight, but then in, uh, in Ice Age. First strike for one white, two white plus one plus oh. Very useful when you're playing uh, this kind of strategy. I don't, I'm not sure if I'm going to play it, but uh, it's definitely beautiful art. Yeah, I have to play it now. Absolutely stunning card. Um, art by Ruth uh, Thompson. Beautiful. Thank you, my friend. Um, let's see, where can I put the cards? So this is oh, card number one. Let's zoom in there. And now we can start with the second envelope. That is this one. Oh, this is a sp I know. Okay, this is a card. I, I believe this is sent to me from Tasmania. So that's really the other side of the world. So we've got the United States and we've got Tasmania. It's kind of looking where to open this card, uh, this envelope best. So this came from the other side of the planet. Just going to open it up. And I know that this is, I believe, from, um, let me let me check, yeah, from Morgan. And Morgan makes uh, his own cards. So they're like, they're not for sale or anything, just purely uh, fan art. And he sent me a card earlier. I think this is also one of his pieces. Ooh, okay, okay. Oh, this is an old bordered uh, Jace. Let's first just read the message. Yo, Timmy, I here invented a new proxy making process. Hope you like the old school Jace the Mind Sculptor, Sculptor Alpha Edition props. Um, th thank you, man. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. I believe, so it's sent to me by Morgan. Thank you, Morgan. Look at this. So I'm actually not, um, of course, I don't play with the new cards, but I do really like this to see this new art on an old school card. It's pretty sweet. Really nice. And it's kind of thick, so I think it's pressed on here or something. Maybe it's nice if you give me a moment, I can uh, I can show you the other card that he sent me earlier. Just, uh, just give me a sec. So here is the other card that he sent me. So I just took it out of the binder. Cool, right? Like Morgan, you are a must mastermind when it comes to making these. Very, very cool. Thank you, sir. Let's add it over here. So two more cards. Feels like my birthday. Look at the amount of envelopes I still have to go. You know what? I'm going to start with this one. I think this is also a little bit of Ice Age and part of the same uh, project as this card right here. Let's see if I can open it. This is from Italy. This is just an order from Card Market. 
There we go. Yeah, here, Arcane Trieste from Cart Market. Very good seller, by the way, very professional. Good prices, reliable. Uh, let's see if we can open this up a little bit. I don't want to damage the cards, of course. Uh, let's have a look. A lot of sellotape on this one. So if you would play in an Ice Age tournament, what kind of deck would you build? And I'm not necessarily looking for the best deck, but I'm just looking for a cool, flavorful deck. You know, that also works a little bit. Like, what, what is your favorite card in Ice Age that you would just really, really want to play? Because I was just looking at all those, like, just the art of all those white soldier cards. They just look, like, really, really nice. That's how I came up with the idea to maybe just build a mono white deck. I also, of course, have a deck with Zurn Spellcaster and... Um, What's that other dude called again that you can untap a blue creature? Not it. So I've got like a blue-black deck as well, like a wizard's deck, which I may play. Do you have so many ideas? Wow, this is really, really packed well. Um, okay, I need more scissors, it seems. See if I can get through this without damaging anything. Okay. There we go. Bamba, bamba, bamba. My friend, Arcane, you did well with packing this stuff. New one, new one, new one. Okay, this is probably also just some new stuff. Okay, and then we have these. These are the cards. Technically, they're not old school, but they're old school. Look at the corner, eaten by a dog. I love it. And these are Swords to Plowshares from Ice Age, because... I'm preparing for an Ice Age tournament. I really like the art. Like I'm really somebody who usually always says the old school art, the alpha art is better. Um, I'm not saying this art is better because I also love the art by Jeff Mingus, but this is also an exceptional piece. Look at this. Beautiful card, very powerful, of course. Yeah, Kaya Foglio, she just makes the most beautiful pieces. Very, very cool. Um, let's put you behind the Timmy. And uh, yeah, so those are the Ice Age cards from Italy. Uh, we've got email from David. David, he's an old school player from Utrecht. Utrecht, I should say. Utrecht, no, it's just Utrecht. You say Utrecht, it's a Dutch name. Anyway, uh, it's a very nice guy. We usually meet up in tournaments. And he also sells cards from time to time. Let's have a look. Okay, okay. There we go. And it's empty, always checking, you never know. And this is just to protect, no, there's something in here, okay. Life just got interesting. There's a little button, look at this. <laughs> Sweet. Oh, yeah, so this is David. If you're wondering who's David, this is David. Funny guy, funny guy. Okay, so thank you, man. Add this to the collection. And then we've got some cards in here. There we go. Got a little bit of writing. Oh, now I remember. I forgot about this. So obviously Christmas is coming up, right? Hint, hint. So I'm trying to collect Goblin Snowman. And he sent me three snowmen. Thank you, David. So again, it's a lot of Ice Age today, I guess. So Goblin Snowman, uh, one red and three for summon goblins, one, one. When Goblin Snowman neither deals, sh sorry, I should say when blocking, Goblin Snowman neither deals nor receives damage in combat, tap Goblin Snowman deals one damage to target creature it blocks. So it's very flavorful, also very much on theme with the huge snowman that you've got the goblins hiding behind. I just think this is a hilarious card. And obviously I want to do something with this for Christmas. Oh, let's add that here. And we've got a nice note. Timmy, love to send you three goblin snowman to brew with. Long live Timmy, Timmy Talks. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. 
spit it over here. And then we've uh, I've kept not the best, well, maybe cart wise the best for last, I guess. Um, which is this, this is also an order. Can open it up. I believe there's a new legend hero of Dominaria in here. And uh, if you, by the way, want to see what I mean by legend or hero of Dominaria, here we go. There she is. Um, you can click on the link and that will take you to a mail day where I got a lot of legendary creatures. And I also talk a little bit about the history of these whoop, beautiful creatures. There we go. So we've got to open this up a little bit. Can we do that or not? Mm, that is tricky. Obviously we can see the card here. There's also a card behind. I'm just going to take it off camera for a second. I'm trying to open it up here. Oh, is the opening at the other side. Tricky, it's at the other side. Okay, okay, okay. Look, now I got it. Bam, and there are actually two cards in here. So, just first gonna take a look at this one. So, Xira Arian, one green, one red, one black for a one two flyer. And when you play, pay that same amount of mana, you can tap it and you can draw a card. So, it's, it's, it's pretty cool. It's a really nice card, and I can add this to my Legends collection. So, very happy with that. And then I am actually completing a playset today, bam, 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 of Granite Gargoyles. Arguably the card with one of the coolest flavor texts in the entire game. One red and two for a two, two flyer for one red. You can give it plus O plus one, but please take a moment to enjoy the flavor text. While most overworld worlders, man, I can't talk English today. Fortunately, don't realize this, gargoyles can be most delicious, providing you have the appropriate tools to carve them. The Underworld Cookbook by Ashmore. Unfortunately, later in the game, they actually made this into a card, which I think is kind of a shame, because I always like to use my imagination with these characters, but okay, they made it into a card. But now I have the complete playset. Actually, if you give me a sec, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get the other three. I want to see what they look like all together. Okay, I found them. Bam, bam, bam. Let me just take them out of the sleeve real quick. Oh, it feels so good to just have this playset complete. I think they're just beautiful, beautiful creatures. And they're useful. They're playable. Uh, you see them being played a little bit more in pink weenie. I guess because of the fact they're just one red and two uh, instead of... Thunder Spirit, which of course has First Strike, but it is two white and one to cast. So that can be sometimes difficult when you're playing Pink Weenie. So here we see a full playset of Granite Gargoyles. And this is also the end of my mail day. I mean, look at all the goodies. Let me just take them here and them in my hands. Quite a lot of stuff. And of course, the Swords to Plowshares there at the back. Man, this is a lot of stuff and a nice Rook token. Always love getting some tokens. That's quite a good day just for, you know, your average Sunday. Anyway, thank you very much for watching another episode right here on Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and ring that bell. Okay, well, now that you've done that, you can might as well leave a like, leave a comment. All that stuff helps. Share this on your socials if you want to. And um, yeah, if you like the content that I make and the channel that I have, you can also consider becoming a patron. It's only $1 a month. You can pay more, of course, if you want to. But with that money, you support me doing what I love to do. And that is making old school magic content for you guys. And the cool thing is, if you become a member, you can actually join in on that uh, Ice Age tournament that I talked about in this video. And um, yeah, you know, you can join our Discord and oh yes, last, last but not least, your name will be mentioned at the end, in the end scroll of every video. Talking about the end scroll, let's take a look at our amazing, wonderful, fantastic channel members and patrons of Timmy Talks. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? Yeah.
Ik het als ik het als zomba kan zien.